we have All Star Weekend, obviously. Yeah. Um, this has probably been the most boring All Star Weekend I've ever seen yeah. in the last like five years. Yeah, I can't blame you. But we actually saw some smoke with Benedict Matherin and Jaden Ivey, and this is a beef that I think I don't know a lot of fans if they've been following this beef it it's a beef that started during you know the draft process Mm -hmm. where benedict matherin wanted to be the fifth overall pick obviously he wasn't he went sixth to indiana yeah we we all know Jaden ivy landed in detroit with the fifth overall pick but my question to you is are you here for this Jaden ivy benedict matherin detroit pistons first indiana pacers beef uh 100 percent I am a beef enjoyer. Pause. I <laughs> yo. <laughs> um, I think I think a little competition is always good. I think that especially because you have two guys who were drafted. One was drafted five. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mathern went, went six, right to, yes. to Indiana. Yeah. Um, so I, I love having a little competition there, especially because they're both in the same division. Let's get that Pacers Pistons rivalry off the ground a little bit. I just love rivalries in general for the game. I think they're great. Um, Indiana and Milwaukee earlier this season, I thought that was great for the game. Um, just in general, like you don't get, I feel like we don't get enough beef in um, in basketball, which I guess we'll get to later. Uh, we don't get enough beef in the NBA um, to my liking. Cause I feel like in sports, people are tribalist by nature. Like guys want to get behind a team and then also hate, one other you know i mean like teams need someone to root against and if you have something there where it's like this guy doesn't like this guy or this team doesn't like this team it not only keeps the games exciting um not to say the game itself isn't exciting but you know it keeps it keeps things exciting and it also just kind of gives fans a little bit to hold on to for a little bit a little banter back and forth which i always think is positive Uh, unless it gets like super toxic which there are cases like that but mm-hmm. even something like, you know, you look at like college sports in general, like you, like an Ohio State, Michigan, it gets really serious and people do not play. Like you can't go in Ohio without with a Michigan license plate without getting at least a couple comments. Right. So I feel like things like that. Sure, they they can get toxic, but I think overall just just beef in general in sports. I think it's a good thing. I think it grows the game and it keeps people passionate. I think the funniest part of the, the shit talking that Matt Thurn was doing, like, Jaden Ivey didn't even hear him. Yeah. And he, like, looked at him. He's like, what'd you say? He's like, you can't even guard me in an All-Star game. And I, I kind of find it for a Rising Stars game. I shouldn't say All-Stars. Yeah. Someone that's going to get mad that I said that. <laughs> um, a Rising Stars game. I, I find it funny because neither of them could guard each other. They were both giving each other buckets. <laughs> it just kind of seems like Matherin still has that chip on his shoulder. He, he wanted to be a Piston so bad, which... Hey, like I'm happy for, but at the same time, it's just like I'm pretty happy with Jade and Ivy with that fifth pick. Yeah, the I mean Pistons fans seem to have kind of it's weird. I didn't see the well. Here's my thing. I actually saw this coming a little bit last year. I didn't think it would happen this year, where fans kind of seem to have riled around Jade and Ivy a little bit as like, oh, this is our guy, and I haven't seen as much Cade hype lately. And that's its own that's its own discussion. That um, <laughs> it's a yeah, that's its own thing, but. I um I think Pistons fans are really happy with the Ivy pick. Pacers fans are really happy with the Matherin pick. So it's it's just overall good fun. I don't think there's anything too crazy to it. No, I I, I love it. I kind of want you know the, the Pistons Pacers rivalry to kind of yeah. rekindle a little bit because yeah. growing up as a kid, like watching Ben Wallace and Aaron Test and Jermaine O'Neal just like go at it. Like <laughs> this, yeah. I'm a sicko. Like I love, like as a kid, like I'd love the defense and I love the defensive battles. Like I was, I was there for like the 67, 69 scores. Like I don't want, I don't want to see no 140, 145. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I personally grew up in a, in the, in the buckets era. I think that's what we're going to call this where you, you guys like Curry and, I've seen defense get played less and less, but I am definitely a fan of defense. It's just in a Rising Stars game, especially, you're not going to see that much defense getting played. No, or no. the All Star game, which is uh, now. Is it now? I, I think so. It kind of shows you um, my give a shit level with this All Star game. It's been, <laughs> it's, it's like a watered down, just a YMCA like yeah. game at this point. It, but yeah, it's really just pick up hoops. There's there's nothing to it. <laughs> Like honestly, like I'm like I just don't care. Like my my interest level is very low, yeah. um, especially with the dunk contest last night. That that's a whole nother like I, I don't even know. Like 
that Kenny was Smith. Kenny Smith's a hater. That's all I'll say. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Good <laughs> Lord, that. That was, yeah. Uh, he, he's definitely got the hating uncle vibe, hundred percent.